Blackfoot Communications is committed to supporting Bozeman businesses from intelligent network solutions like SD-WAN to fast and reliable fiber-based services. Blackfoot delivers innovative ways for your business to succeed. Blackfoot Communications. Connect to more. I guess I'm, you know, first question is just what, what was so hard about their offense to guard? Everything. <laughs> so, no, they just, they're the best passing team in the league. And I, I think I said that this week, like, if you make a mistake defensively, they, they just make you pay for it. And they got shooters all over the place and they got the best post guy in the league. You know, I mean, he's playing like the MVP of the league, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's really hard to stop. And even when you double him, he's, he's a great passer. And then, they got shooters all over the place. So they, they really put you in a predicament. And tonight, we just couldn't – we didn't slow them down at all tonight. Um, you, you talk so much about wanting to be a, a defensive team. Um, I guess just how important is it to, to maybe improve from this and, and, and get back to that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the last two weeks, I, I still want to be a defensive team. And uh, we're not even close right now. Um, you know, we got we to get a lot better in the next 36 hours. You know, or it's going to be a long night. We got we to compete. We got to make it. We got to make it tough on them, you know. We got to be able to guard one on one better, and, and there's a lot of things we need to do. But you know, we got we got to compete. Um, I guess you've mentioned how you know having the shooters all over, how hard that is to guard. Um, how much is that kind of an example of, of maybe the way you want to play? I mean, I, yeah, that's that's ideally that's exactly how I'd like to play. You know, and especially the way they share the ball and move it. You know, there's no wasted dribbles. You know, they space you out. And they, they do a great job playing off each other. You know, they let the ball find the open shot. And, the, you know, they're the perfect – they could be the terminology of that, letting letting the ball find the shot, you know, the way they move it. And, and whoever gets it, he's open, knock it down, you know. And, I mean, it seems like the last two games, our teams haven't missed a free throw against us. I think Weber was 28 to 30. And tonight, I think they were close to that, or 28 to 29. And so, you know, we got to do a better job not fouling too because I think that's when the game got away from us. You know, it was a one-point game, and then we fouled them on two straight three-point shots. Thanks. Those are those are all my questions. Hey, thank you though. Appreciate it. Hey. Yeah, thanks. MSU basketball, and football, and all that. So thank you, Paul. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Spriggs, can you hear me? Yep. Just a couple questions for me. Pretty much like no other team in the league they don't ever seem to have lulls. It seems like it's not even just a game of runs. They just consistently can score at such a high level. I mean, is there a way to implement some sort of mentality to maybe make them go cold for a minute? I mean, how do you, how do you break what seems just like a constant streak from start to finish in a game? No, and they've been like that for the past, you know, seven, eight years. Like they, uh, it, it's hard for them to go in a lull because they have five scores on the floor at all times. And when they're getting clean shots, they're going to make them 50% of the time, you know, I mean, a, a low for them is going two for five or two for six, but then, you know, you still got to score with them. And then all of a sudden, if you have that low offensively, you know, they just make you pay. And it's like, they just keep coming in waves, like you mentioned. And it's, you know, we have to find a way on Saturday at noon, you know, to be able to get, you know, multiple stops in a row. Now that you're into kind of the meat of the league schedule, are you seeing people guard your backcourt differently, specifically Xavier? No, not really. Uh, you know, I mean, Eastern, they don't get credit for how good of a defensive team they are. You know, I think a lot of it is because they're so good offensively, people don't want to talk about their defense. But I think they do a really good job of, you know, scouting report defense. Like, they know their personnel, and they do a great job, like, staying in front. It's hard to beat them off the dribble. And even when you do, they do a great job protecting the rim. You know, Kim Aiken's flying around. You know, Grove's a big dude. You know, he's 6'11". You know, and, and moves his feet well and chess up. And so they, they make you earn it, you know, and I don't think they get enough credit defensively for how good they are. Last one for me. I mean, how important is it to just move on from this and get ready for Saturday rather than having it, you know, affect Saturday's performance? Yeah, you know, and, and that's what good teams do. You know, and the locker room talk after the game, I, I didn't say anything. I just said, hey, we got another game at noon. We got the same team you guys just played. We know what to do. We'll go home. We'll watch the film. We'll meet up tomorrow. You got to let this sting until midnight, and then we got to we got to get better tomorrow. Thanks, Danny. You bet. Thanks.